Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Liberate Lunations. My name is Eleonora and today we're going to be talking about the full moon in Gemini that takes place on December 18th with its peak time of 8.34 p.m. That's for Pacific Standard Time. This is the last full moon of the year, last full moon of 2021. So grab onto your horses. No, just kidding. It's fine. Um, this full moon might sting a little um, just because Chiron is in there with Mercury. So, you know, our, we might be a little bit on our feels and might feel a little bit too vocal about it. But either way, I think it's better than the last full moon we had, which was an eclipse in Taurus. That was painful. Um, so, Let's just enjoy this opportunity to be able to fully release what we need and to be ready for the next lunar cycle. So let's get into it. To start with, we have Jupiter and Aquarius. It's going to be trine moon in gemini and sextile the sun in sagittarius um so with these three celestial bodies having harmonious conversations both trines and sextiles are aspects of harmony um, i think it can encourage us to open up to people around us and help us with our process of release um, it can support us being more comfortable about you know being more vocal about our um feelings and opening up when perhaps we were apprehensive before. Next up, we do have the famous Saturn in Aquarius square Uranus in Taurus. Um, Uranus is still retrograde. We welcome them back. The Saturn Uranus squares have never left and they're not going to leave for any the, for a little bit longer. Um, this is the push and pull energy that we have been feeling the whole year of 2021. It's the, do I stay inside the box or do I explore outside the box? Um, the unknown is scary. Being disruptive or disrupted from your um, routine is scary. Change is scary, but the possibilities of what we can do with those changes is where we need to focus on. Um, not where we could fall down or where we could fail, but where we can find our winnings and our victories no matter how small they are all right next up i'm gonna pull a card for you guys you already know what this is um let's see what messages come up for whoever is watching this video right now and what we need to hear for this last full moon in gemini um last full moon of 2021 I was thinking maybe this is gonna be chill 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 but i got the solar eclipse card I don't know. <laughs> um, we just came off a solar, solar eclipse in Sagittarius um, a couple weeks ago. So I don't know, maybe there's some remainder of that um, that we need to just clear out. Maybe any reflecting or journaling that you have done during the solar eclipse. Um, anything that has happened during the solar eclipse, maybe you should go back to it and see what the, what's popping. Maybe if there's some unresolved things that need to be let go of. Or maybe if you accidentally manifested something, maybe you need to kind of um, <laughs> go back to it and do some arrangements to it. Um, either way, it's um, it'll 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 come back. It'll bring out what needs to be brought out. But it's definitely more of a, a it's more of like a a warning sign. Not not trying to alert you guys. Um, just more of like a hey hey, pay attention maybe to this. Um, to this period of time, what was happening. Okay, so for crystals to recommend this time around, I'm gonna recommend Apache Tears. It's a type of obsidian, um, it's a black stone, really good for grounding and protection, obviously, but it's also really good for healing. It allows you to move on, to let go of past patterns, negative patterns, negative things, situations, people, emotions that no longer serve you or your highest purpose. For recommended events, make sure to check out the links below in the description box. We have both in-person and live stream events that you can attend for this full moon in Gemini. Also, um, if you like doing spell work or are a fellow witch, um, I recommend this book, Hardcore, The Goodly Spell Book. It has a ton of information. It is literally $17. Um, and you can get it anywhere, but uh, I'll link it below. 
um, a must have. It has a ton of things, ton of spells, ton of different ways you can practice magic and spells and um, do things. I just love it. Um, I recently um, purchased it myself, so I'm still going through it, uh, but I highly recommend it. So check out the link below. Okay, you guys, that is it for this full moon in Gemini, last full moon of the year. Happy last full moon of this 2021, which feels like 2020, which feels like 2019. Where did time go? I don't know. Um, I hope everybody is happy and healthy. And um, I guess I will see you guys in the next new moon in January. So I hope you have an amazing, amazing end to your year. Thank you for being here and for supporting and for watching. It means a lot. Um, so I'm sending you so, so much love and many, many blessings and have a very happy full moon. that helps uh, treat the person on all levels of their life, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, etherically, which is energetically and physically. I'm energy, this chair is energy, everything around us is energy. Uh, when we you receive an energy healing session, it's a transmission of life force. There are a lot of techniques that we can use to balance the energy field. Uh, regardless of the practitioner, there are certain ways in which each of us can connect to and help the client um, rebalance whatever it is that's going on in their energy field that is creating dis-ease or discomfort in their lives. We work with you both in person and remote. Energy healing is good for everything. So you can use it to manifest something. You can use it to uh, treat a, an ailment, whether it's something physical, mental, emotional. And we cleanse your chakras, balance you, clear out stress, physical issues, worry, fear, trauma, anxiety. Release cords, release things in your life or in your body temple that are keeping you from moving forward. I normally suggest that people get an energy healing whenever they feel that they need it. A healing energy work should be done on a regular basis, like taking a shower. If you're watching this and it crosses your mind, hmm, out of curiosity, get a healing. You're being called to it, 